And I got, I was into jazz, so I really loved Duke Ellington, I really loved Count Basie, and I saw Duke Ellington when he toured here, and, and my brother and myself would, um, I remember we got all, and I wish I'd lost it, but we got the whole of the Duke Ellington band's um, autographs on the programme, you know, which we put through the back window of the Kilburn, go on State Kilburn, into the dressing room. And um, they all signed it for us and put it back through the window, which was nice. And, uh, you know, I saw Eric Dolphy and John Coltrane and people like that in, in, in that period. But then we went in, like, at, after I, I left school, sort of 1960, um, we went to America for, th my father managed to fix something up. And we lived in Andrew and, and Jonathan and myself, Jonathan joined later, but Andrew and I went and stayed. We met, went to Pekin, Illinois. And um, in Pekin, Illinois, uh, we worked in a distillery, which was ironic since we were too young and to, to drink and America had, as, as now, had most hysterical drink laws, but somehow or another that didn't apply to people working. So anyway, we worked in the distillery and uh, doing, really doing, just sort of being really just what we would now call interns, I guess, you know, but it was just, my father blagged it to the guy, he knew, he knew the guy through the church who was, who owned the distillery, and so we went there as, um, so I don't know, just sort of, it was a matey thing, and we stayed in Pekin, Illinois, but the weekends we would travel up to Chicago, and that was really important because um, in Chicago we saw uh, things like Muddy Waters, um, uh, playing in a restaurant in a in a bar with um, Kasner. What was his name? Kasner, I think his name was Kasner. Um, who who had the Delmark label, and he took he you know he we'd found the, re the record. He he ran a record shop, and we'd gone to the record shop to look for because you know you couldn't get all the records from America. You know, it was still back in, in, in the late 50s, early 60s, there were still lots of restrictions and yeah. import tax and, you know, quotas and stuff like this. So, you know, you didn't get a lot of the records. And if you could get the records, they were incredibly expensive. We went, saw people like Miles Davis playing at the Sutherland Lounge. And the great thing was we would go to the Sutherland Lounge, which was right on the south side, and we stayed with some people, we, friends of friends of friends. We, we stayed with this lady who um, taught at the uh, University of Chicago. And the University of Chicago is a sort of island of white middle-classness in a sort of sea of south side Chicago. And we'd go off and see these gigs, and I think they, they must thought, who the hell are these? You know these white boys from England. You know English white kids. You know would come in and we would. It was we weren't allowed to drink, of course. We were able to watch the shows and would stand there and watch them. And then we'd walk home at like, you know like two o'clock in the morning, right across the south side. Never had anything. No trouble at all.